In this video, we are going to learn how to compare two fractions in the case they have the same denominator or the same numerator or different denominators. Comparing fractions. Remainder. Fractions with common denominator, as we see here, 7 over 5 and 9 over 5, 7 fifths and 9 fifths. So these two fractions they have the same denominator in this case the fraction that has the bigger numerator is the greater fraction so 7 is great is less than 9 so 7 over 5 is less than 9 over 5 so in this case if they have the same denominator the fraction that has the bigger numerator is the bigger fraction and here we have fractions with common numerator or the same numerator. So in this case, it's inverted. Here we have 20 and 18. 20 is greater than 18. So the fractions, we put an inverted sign. So 11 over 20 is less than 11 over 18. So this the cases where we have the same denominator and the same numerator. Let's have more examples. Here we have 1 over 4 and 2 over 4. They have the same denominator. And we said that if two fractions have the same denominator, the one that has the greater numerator is the greater fraction. So here is 2 is greater than 1, so 2 over 4 is greater than 1 over 4. Another exercise, also we have the same denominator, so we look at the numerator. The fraction that has the greater is the greater. The fraction that has the greater numerator is the greater 1. So 4 is greater than 2, so 4 over 8 is greater than 2 over 8. In the other case, comparing fractions having the same numerator. Here we have 1 quarter or 1 over 4 and 1 half. 1 eighth and 1 fourth. As we said before, the fraction that has the bigger denominator is the smaller one so they have the same numerator so the sign here is inverted so 4 is greater than 2 so we invert this sign 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 4 and it's obvious from the the colored part here this part is greater than this part it's 1 out of 4 it's 1 out of 2 Half is greater than one quarter. In the other example, we have one over eight and one over four. We have the same numerator, and we said that if we have the same numerator, we look at the denominator, and eight is greater than four, and then we invert this sign. So one over four is greater than one over eight. And if we look at the colored part, we see that this part is greater than this part. So, same numerator, the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the fraction. Compare these two fractions, 1 over 4 and 2 thirds, 1 quarter and 2 thirds. Here we don't have the same denominator, 4 and 3 are different, and the numerators are different. So in this case, it's different from the previous two cases. So what do we have to do in this case? To compare two fractions that do not have a common denominator, we reduce them to the same denominator. How to do that? We find a fraction equivalent to each of the two fractions and having the same denominator, a common 
multiple of the two denominators and then we compare these two fractions for this example 1 over 4 and 2 over 3 we have to find an equal fraction for the 1 over 4 and we have to find an equivalent or equal fraction to 2 thirds such that the fract the denominators here should be equal or the denominator here should be common multiple of 4 and 3 so let's check out the multiples of 4 they are 0 4 8 12 and 16 the multiples of 3 are 0 3 6 9 12 and 15 and here we have a common multiple which is 12 so here we have to reduce them for the common denominator 12 so 1 over 4 how 4 becomes 12 so we multiply it by 3 then we have to do the same for the numerator we multiply it by 3 1 times 3 is a 3 so 1 over 4 and 3 over 12 they are equal or equivalent fractions since we multiply them by the same factor and here we have to multiply by 4 3 times 4 is 12 so 3 times 4 is 12 and we have to multiply the numerator also by 4 2 times 4 is 8 so 2 over 3 and 8 over 12 are equal fractions so as you notice here we had two fractions that are equivalent for the these fractions and at the same time they have the same denominator so now we can or we could compare these fractions as we said before if the fractions have the same denominator we look at the numerator and the fraction that has the bigger numerator is the greater fraction so in this case 2 over 3 is greater than 1 quarter or 1 over 4 so these are the steps that we followed to compare these fractions another example 3 over 5 and 4 over 6 they have different denominators and different numerators so we have to reduce both fractions and we have to find two equivalent fractions for them such that they have the same denominator so here we have to find a common multiple of 5 and 6 and the easiest way is to multiply 5 by 6 and multiply 6 by 5 so here we have 30 and 30 and as we said whatever we do at the bottom we do at the upper side so here we should multiply by 6 and here we should multiply by 5 and in this case we have 3 times 6 is 18 5 times 6 is 30 4 over 6 we multiply both terms by 5 so it becomes 20 over 30 so as you notice here we have the two fractions 18 over 30 it's equivalent for 3 over 5 20 over 30 is equivalent for 4 over 6 and both have 30 as a denominator so in this case we could compare them as we said previously if they have the same denominator we look at the numerator the fraction that has the bigger numerator is the greater fraction so 3 over 5 and 4 over 6 so 4 over 6 is greater than 3 over 5 and here another example compare these two fractions in this case the denominator here are 9 and 6 and we have different numerators 
So we have to reduce these two fractions to equivalent fractions such that they have the same denominator and this and this denominator is a common multiple of 9 and 6. So what should we do here? As we said, the easiest way is to multiply. Here we have 9, so 9, sorry, we have 6, so 9 times 6. And then we multiply here, we have 9, so 6 times 9. This is the easiest way. But we could check that it's easy to find common multiple of 9 and 6. The multiples of 9 are 9, 18. So the multiples of 9 are 0, 9, 18, 27. The multiples of 6 are 0, 6, 12, 18, and 24. And we see that 18 is a common multiple. So here, to become 18, we multiply it by 2. And here we multiply 6 times 3 is 18. So whatever we do for the denominator, we do for the numerator. Then we have to multiply by 2, both terms. And here we have to multiply by 3, both terms. So in this case, 8 times 2 is 16. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 over 6 is multiplied by 3. Both terms are multiplied by 3. 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18. As you see here, 16 over 18 and 15 over 18. Both fractions have the same denominator 18, which is a common multiple of 9 and 6. And now we could compare these fractions. Two fractions having the same denominator, we look at the numerator. And the fraction that has the larger or the bigger numerator is the greater fraction. So in this case, 8 over 9 is greater than 5 over 6. So as a summary for comparing fractions, if they have the same denominator, the fraction that has the greater numerator is the greater fraction. If they have the same numerator, we look at the denominator. The fraction that has, so the fraction that has the greater denominator is the smaller fraction. Whatever they have, they have different denominator. We have to reduce them for the same denominator by using uh, the method of equivalent fractions and to have the denominator is a common multiple of the denominators of both fractions and then how to find or how to reduce to the same denominator it's to find an equivalent fractions by multiplying or by dividing and then we follow this rule they have the same denominator so the one that has the greater numerator is the greater fraction.